So guys, I lost a bunch of footage just now. Uh, my software crashed, and it means I lost it. And I only like saved the first like minute and a half of video. So I'm re-recording, and okay, I I don't remember exactly what I did, but there was one person that I upgraded to about three thousand or something, and I can't remember exactly who it was. Oh, I, yes, it was Sanjo. I think that's the problem um, because I lost that footage I think uh, I got into turn 113 which is the next turn and I used another two points so I've used five actions is how much I lost which I'm not sure oh yes so I declared war to Macedonia and I did it this way um, honestly uh, not that much happened I do remember what I did was I was like, oh, I don't really want to use Odin Nobunaga. I want to use, even if it uses more people, I'd rather do that. So I'm going to, who else could I, I think it was Marco Polo is who I used. Um, actually, what happened was, I was like, oh, I lost this footage. Actually, I don't know if I actually used Marco Polo. Oh, well, I'm going to use Marco Polo. It's I, Actually, I don't think that's who I'd used. So yeah, she's going like, yo, you want some red bean soup? So... If I'd lost my audio, I was, I was wondering this, how would I have reacted? So I don't know how to react to this because I'm like, yo, I've already seen this. So I was I was a bit, I was like, why why is it starting with Benke? I was like, this wasn't the Benke mission. I thought for a moment, I was like, yo, I completely forgot what I was doing. And like, I suddenly fast forwarded 10 minutes into the future, which occasionally happens with me. I've got a terrible war, um, war uh, memory, but... Yeah, so um, I guess Himiko is going to go do it and they're going to have fun with Benkei. So, oh yeah, this is where they describe uh, these two. That's some pretty cool art. I actually didn't look at the art entirely the, the other time. And she's got those black panties. That, are they see-through? Are they got little dots on them? I'm not too sure. So yeah, it says they're nearly as, as tough as uh, the EU. And then I was like, oh wait, I should have took it, taken out these guys before I took out the EU. So these guys, when I did the fights, which most of the things I did actually were fights. I think I did one side quest with Lubu. And, um, yep, Champion of Conquest. And that was something that I was actually quite happy because I hadn't used uh, side quests with them for a while. For the, um, the Mongolian, uh, not the Mongolians, so the, the China people. And the Mongolians as well, but I hadn't done any of those. So yeah, so uh, they, they're going to go play some catch. And yeah, have a lot of fun. I' not too sure. There's not much else that happens here, unless I completely forgot about it. Oh, yes, they're gonna do the red bean soup stuff. So yeah, he doesn't know what she looks like, even though we, the viewer, do. So yeah, this commentary is very different from probably what I usually do, but I guess that's what's gonna happen. So yeah, uh, Aristotle. This is. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know how to say that. Aristotle. Anyway, I think I'm gonna start calling it. Airy and Alexander the Great, so I'm just called Alexander, maybe Alex. Um, I'll call that person, but anyway, yeah, so yeah, she's like, Yo, why the the thing? Normally, we're the ones that do the war thing. Yeah, I didn't actually notice that cross on her face until just now, so yeah, that's different. She's got like that uh, blue eyeliner, too. Oh, yeah, there was one thing we did find out. Um, with them and it's gonna come up in a little bit maybe I'm saying it too fast yeah so yeah they're in the middle of war with Babylonia so a part of me thinks that maybe they're so relatively easy because they're also at war with someone else which could be the case um, yeah okay and then they met at some desert place and met a cute student that was younger than her and look they got there's the panty thing which but I don't think there's a see through I think it's like little orange dots but um, I'm a distance away, uh, quite a distance away from my TV, so I'm not too sure. Uh huh. So yeah, they they want to go. Okay. Yeah, they want to go visit the ruins together once uh once they've stopped these whole war stuff. Okay, and that's done. And so we're uh, hostile with them. So that was that my first action. And then basically the first thing I did was yo, let's go to war with. Gordian is the one I did. I didn't equip any items or anything like that. I recall that. 
So yep, we've got some Lubu action going on here. Yep, so they're, yeah, they're pretty tough dudes. I remember saying like, isn't it interesting that Kublai, she's got two Ks and she's like kittens as well, but then I was like, yo, Japanese language, they wouldn't really, that wouldn't be uh, a thing. What is Neko, wouldn't it? And Kublai, yeah, that wouldn't really fit. So yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just take out these guys, okay. Um, I was thinking to myself, this is a really easy fight, but maybe, oh, actually this is, yeah, it was the fight after this are less people, I recall, uh, I don't remember, I think I used Bedivere, and I think I used Sanzo just because I graded her, then again, I could use Jiro, I don't know, maybe, um, I think what I did was, I think I put Shihaya in the middle there, like this, Actually, I think I, I didn't I didn't use this team at all. I don't think the one thing I noticed is they weren't actually that tough um, Actually now let's not use Jihaya. That's I don't know who to use really but um, Drake so yeah, they're really good people like Jiro and Sanzo are really good against these type of people that while well, the guys in the front and The people I guess I'm gonna go use um, Shooty shoot people like uh, Columbus or maybe okay. Uh, so we'll put Columbus there. We'll put Billy here. And who else? To put, to put Da Vinci. Yeah, this is a completely different team. But I'll just show you the first fight, and then I think, or at least the start of it. I don't know. I'll just show you. Like, like look how much damage that Jiro does. Unless I'm. Yeah, there we go. See what I mean? Normally I have to whittle these guys down. So yeah, let's just. Yeah, let's get this guy out of the way. I think I actually didn't do um, this fight that well. I did it decent, but not like, oh my god, you are the best type of guy. And then I can just shoot. Actually, is it going to be Billy? Yeah, it's going to be Billy. Quick draw, or. Oh, well, there's no point in doing quick draw, is there? Yeah, this. Is this. Will that take you out? Oh no. Oh god, okay. That'll be Lu Bu, and we're going to do. Cleave. And if we're very lucky, it's going to take you out. Oh, no, it won't. Anyway, yeah, yeah, so these guys, I think what I actually did was I focused on the guys at the back more. But I guess I'm not doing it this time, which I don't know if it's actually a good thing. So who, whose move is going to be after this? So yeah, so these guys are le a lot less defensive than the EU, which is the biggest difference. So, yeah, I guess these, uh, the, the you know, the, uh, the leaders I'm going to get won't be as tough so I wonder if we missed out on any any story stuff with taking out these guys before the EU I don't think we did we just didn't we're gonna activate a bunch of side quests um, I'm guessing after this so heavy smash I actually I remember using um, I think better be a super attack, attack um, rocket punch which looks really cool there was one I witnessed for the first time I guess is it maybe a big deal? But yeah, I love Luke using Billy. She's even though she's got the, the reach. Actually, it's weird. I think my favorite character actually might be. Oh, oh, I like this. I haven't used this Wild War Cry before. Um. Well, I know it's it's kind of a waste of a turn, but let's use that and then be better this. So I guess we're gonna advance. Oh wait, hopefully I don't. That it's not gonna be a waste of a, a thing there. Whoops. I, get, I think I've just wasted Jiro's attack. No! Anyway, um, I guess, yeah, yeah, that, that was that was a big mistake. But yeah, um, oh, whoa! Okay, that, that's, that, that went even better than I thought it did. Yeah, Jiro, doesn't, they don't take much damage. Because I've upgraded uh, her defense with an item, I think. Um, actually, I'm, I think I finished my, um, uh, didn't I? So I guess I could just move you to the back. And let's, oh well, we're going to see what it looks like, even though we don't know how much damage it does. Oh, that's just, oh, that just, I just feel bad about that. Well, next time I use Juro, hopefully I can uh, actually see what it looks like. But yeah, I won't, I won't show the future fights. Aside from the, um, when well, it's going to have the uh, criminals? Criminals? No, the, the captains, the criminals. Uh, the leaders, the heroes. There we go, the heroes. So yeah, yeah, um. That was easy. I think I did a tiny bit better than uh, last time, even though I missed that special move. 
Yeah, we managed somehow. That was nice and easy. Oh, yeah, and I was like, yo. That's super cool that she says that. <laughs> and yeah, Marco's like, I'm a cat. I'm going to scratch your eyes out. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, my cat, actually, is uh, getting along with me a little bit more now, which is pretty cool. Cat's a bit like, it was in a cat the whole its whole life, so... Uh, she, she's all laugh. I don't know why I said it's. She, I don't. I don't actually take offence that much to being called an it. So do I? I wonder. That it depends who it is. Anyway, yeah, she's lost, and um, I was actually kind of thought that she'd be a little bit more like, oh, I'm getting pumped for this because I lost or something, or either that or kind of demotivated. But she was kind of neutral about it. There we go. This is what I was actually thinking of. And there's like, yeah, she wants to get married to someone. Hmm. Which is uh, rather cute. Look at that cute blush face. Swishy swash. So yeah, she's she's a little bit more on the right, this one. I guess it's to show the magnificent sword she's got. Which is a bit of an unusual one. It's almost like a blade. Um, it's like a hidden blade, almost. But yeah, yeah, so she, yeah, 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 the teacher's pretty cute. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she, oh yeah, and she should get a harem of guys that only wear thongs. Man thongs. I don't know. No, she's not into that, though. Okay, now serious matters. Okay, oh yes, yes, yes. This was this was important. Um, basically, yep. Talk about the trade routes. So my initial thought was like, yo, is this kind of like their version of the Russian tactics where we take more damage, but this is like, yo, they're gonna make us get less money, kind of thing. Yo, I mean, yeah, we sure will be. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they're going to go and uh, disrupt our trade routes so that we get less money. Yep, so yeah. There is a way I could um, stop... Um, oh, actually. Uh, stop them... Uh, I don't know, how, how do I... Actually, no, I can't. No. What you can do, if you take over Damascus before you... Um, before the turn is over, then... That 20% thing will just go away, which you find out next turn. But the thing is, they've got a wall there, so I can take over that place. But it won't actually change anything. I might actually get... Oh, what I actually ended up doing was I took over this place. Which you guys won't be interested in seeing because, well... I, I'm not going to show you guys because it's like, yo, this is an easy, easy fight, dude. So yeah, see you guys in a second. So yeah, now we've got, we've took Kick and over that place. So we finally get that uh, Lubu mission that I mentioned that I did. She's looking for the, the seven star sword, which is when we went into that tunnel like ages ago. I think it was, I think Benke was with her and we had Sun as well. So let's go do that. Uh, oh wait, we're going to end our turn. Last time no one attacked us, but let's see if they attack us this time. No, they didn't. Well, we did take over two of their territories. So that might be a reason. So she going about, oh yeah, this is basically like, yo, the, the, the food and everything costs way more now because of the Macedonia trade with Sisterans. So yeah, she's like, yo, I'm eating some wild flowers, dude. Even though I got like a flower in my face, in my face, in my hair. <laughs> so yeah, they're poisonous. You shouldn't, you shouldn't really eat those. You shouldn't do it. And yeah, well, he's, he's not really a bully, but he's a pretty cool, like, this, yeah, I, I like that she's uh, she talks a little bit more uh, slangy odor, so she calls her a chick. She's not literally a chicken, but you know, it doesn't mean all British people are like that. Okay, so yeah, so tada, get find out about like the trade routes thing. So we're gonna get less money. Okay, and let's we yeah, need to get Damascus as I mentioned before. So yeah, I'm kind of trying to repeat what I did and all the mistakes I did. Um, this is basically. If I wanted to, I could have... Actually, no, no, I would have to reload. And I, I still couldn't have taken over Damascus, even if I wanted to. I guess I could have uh, taken over that little first little thing. But yeah, yeah. So yeah, she she still wants to eat her, her uh, little grass and the tree leaves and all that stuff. So yeah, we only got 20, uh, 
thousand for that. So let's go heal up. And oh, four thousand. Yeah. So I think it actually cost me seven thousand four. Um, so yeah, I did much better. So let's see who 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 would we like to improve to. There we go. Mo oh, oh, okay. Well, yeah. better than nothing, right? Um, actually, I probably should have upgraded to someone like Jero or something like that. So yeah, let's go do this side mission that I mentioned I wanted to do. Oh, I mean Jero, I don't want to do as much. Um, so I'm going to use Lancelot instead. Because I'm not going to be using her. Not really good against the types. I guess the mages is actually good. So yeah, we're going to go and try and get this seven sword thing. And I don't know why we're trying it at night, which is just really bizarre. I wonder if we're going to get it. I've got to say again, I just love this. I, I think Lu Bu actually might be my favorite design. And even though she uses it so... Uh, early on, I guess it's Lu Bu, so you're like, yo, we gotta, gotta spend extra time on this one. Or maybe it's just because I like dragons. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, son's like, yo, I'm the strategist, so this time we're gonna go find it. We had a loose mistake last time, so hopefully we'll fare a little bit better this time. So Benke is staring, what is she staring at? Okay, yep, making sure that Lu Bu. Yeah, so this is the only side mission I didn't do. I guess there is some main story stuff as well. I gotta go through. I I do wonder how long, um, if if this the stuff I missed was one part worthy or two parts worthy. I'm not too sure because uh, anyway. So yeah, I, I guess I could have mentioned the stuff. Pinky <laughs> <gay> hug. <laughs> yes, yeah, I kind of like the look the, the thought of them doing that. I think Lubu will secretly like it a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go further in. So yeah, Chia's like, I don't know what about this. Something seems a little bit odd. A bit fishy in this cave that has no water in it. Uh-huh. So yeah, they went through it rather easily. Uh-huh, okay. So they're looking for a sword and they can't really find it. Well, yeah, they can't. Okay, yep, there was the, the sword isn't here, so... Have we wasted our time? Was it stolen? Oh, was it stolen? So yeah, there was... They didn't really activate many traps. Then again, they are probably less clumsy than us, the people that went through this. Um, I'm trying to think of people that are less clumsy in this that could probably go through it more. I guess people like Hannibal and stuff like that could have went through this. They probably got it for us without setting off any traps. Then again, Hannibal isn't exactly the most delicate of people. Uh, Nero would probably be <laughs> to I am really delicate, but I am really delicate, really fancy, but she wouldn't really go through here either. I don't know, maybe I'm skipping through this too quick. I am actually reading this. But, uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, of course, the boulders that are going to attack the monk isn't going to be a big deal. I don't know. But yeah, they just broke through it. Uh-huh, and she's going to break through another one? Yeah, so son, um, well, you found this place, but I don't know... Hopefully you didn't get like the Y and X chord and it's mixed up because that would be kind of a big deal. But yeah, I guess we, we didn't make uh, too much progress with um, finding the sword, but at least we know it's not somewhere. Got another equipment slot for her so she can be more useful in the future. And um, once we've done that, I guess, oh yeah, so, so yeah, we're getting a follow up or is this the, the, for like a second side mission? Okay, she's not going to give up, so we're going to try and find this sword. Okay, who wanted to talk to us? I don't know, I, I think I missed it. Oh, and I can't even... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, <laughs> I went through that one a bit too fast. But someone wants to talk to us. And uh, to go and find the seventh sword. So now we're going to go take over Damascus. And I might use like... Jero or someone? Oh, oh, yes, yes. So she's found out about the, the uh, Damascus place. So what's... What? Okay, lots of troops. So yeah, we can do an assault. Yep, yeah, on these guys. Uh-huh. Okay, rather than sweeping through the piles. Okay, yep, yeah, so we have to do it gradually. So we're not going to go all out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight these guys. And then I'm going to fight them again on D Damascus again after this. So we're gonna use. Who do you use? I'm gonna use Sanzo at the very least. 
which TII, I'm actually going to do. I'm not going to show you guys, I'm going to go and take over these people.